What is happening, my YouTube family? Of course, it is your boy, Be New. I'm coming at you on this Tuesday. And first and foremost, as always, let me send out positive vibrations and blessings to anybody that could be listening. Now, with all that being said, uh, you know, I've been wanting to come to y'all for a minute regarding this comment that, you know, Ray Allen made, uh, you know, talking to these youngsters or whatever, I guess at Summer League or wherever he was when he made the comment about LeBron James not being the GOAT, you know, and I'm sure in Ray Allen's head, he probably think that he is the shit for hitting that shot and probably the one responsible for saving a LeBron James legacy somewhere in his head. And of course, he did grow up, you know, idolizing a one Michael Jordan and, you know, I'm not, listen, Whatever you call the GOAT is your opinion. You understand what I'm saying? There's no fact of what somebody is the GOAT. And I'm not somebody who's going to come on here and trash Michael Jordan because I got Michael Jordan as number two. But I got a lot of reasons that can, can convince you if you don't already believe why LeBron James uh, should be listed at number one and to me will forever be number one. Uh, at least for a long time to come. And that's something we can break down all day, every day, if y'all want to. But this is what I kind of want to get into about what Ray Allen said. I, I know one of the things that Ray Allen mentioned was, you know, his three-point shooting. He said, can LeBron, can he shoot threes? No, or, or whatever, right? So I got to thinking about it. So probably in Ray Allen's mind, Michael Jordan is the GOAT, right? So in Ray Allen's mind, if Michael Jordan is the GOAT, then he was Michael Jordan a good three-point shooter? And I don't want to hear all that because everybody always say for Michael Jordan, well, if he won't, if he, listen, man, if woulda, shoulda, coulda, if, if was a fifth, we all be drunk as hell and everybody knows that. So we didn't ask that if we know the facts. So that's what we lay down here on this show is the facts. So, you know, we dug into the archives and we said what Michael Jordan what he said, why he was never a good three-point shooter. And you can look this up on anywhere across the internet because that's the beauty of it. And you can go to what you call accredited uh, websites where you know that information is what you call creditable. You understand what I'm telling you? So my, Michael Jordan, in his own words, said, my three-point shooting is something I don't want to excel at. Now, this is what he said. Maybe because he was some hot garbage. Or maybe it was true because he just said he didn't want to excel at it. You know, why, why not excel at everything? Oh, Ice Mike. But anyway, my three-point shooting is something I don't want to excel at because it takes away from all phases of my game. My game is fake, drive to the hole, penetrate, dish off, dunk. Right? So if he said that is his game, fake, drive to the hole, penetrate, dish off, and dunk. And that's what he did. He made a healthy career out of it and became what many people think is the GOAT because of that. Now, to continue on with this quote, he went on to say, when you have that mentality of making threes, you don't go to the hole as much. You go to the three-point line and you start sitting, waiting for somebody to find you. That's not my mentality. And I don't want to create it because it takes away from other parts of my game. And you know what? That's fair. That's fair. And I'll take that, Michael Jordan. I will take that all day, every day. Now, there's a lot of people who went around that who could make threes that, you know, didn't need anybody to create for them. One such like a Steph Curry. Then you have people more like a Clay Thompson or a Reggie Miller, some of the all-time great three-point shooters, or Ray Allen who could come off screens. You know, you got people who could just pull up at any time and hit them. You know, I would say Jordan could do a little bit of both, but could he do either one very well? The answer to that would be no. So Ray Allen. You put him in go category, but Ray Allen, you said that could LeBron hit threes? Uh, no. Well, now all of a sudden, well, let's look at Michael Jordan. So Michael Jordan' career three point shooting is a thirty three percent, and if you want to be technical, it's thirty two point seven. Now we all know, and well, I know. I don't know if anybody who all listen to this knows, but. You know, there was a time from 1994, 95 season, and the 95, 96 season uh, where the three-point line was shortened uh, to kind of increase the, the scoring in the NBA because, you know, a lot of times you saw some of these finals. Was it the finals where the Jazz had 56 points or something like that in one whole game? Uh, you know, you had a lot of defensive struggles. It was great basketball to watch. I'm not knocking it by any means, so don't get it twisted. But I'm just saying to create a more of an up-tempo game like you had in the 80s. The 80s didn't have any problems having an up-tempo game because you had a lot of teams that had that style of play. 
you had, uh, you know, the Boston Celtics, you had the Showtime Lakers, you know, you had, you know, teams like the Philadelphia 76ers who went to war with the Boston Celtics. But anyway, back to my point, from 94 to 96, the short line season, Michael Jordan shot 50% uh, and 43% in the 97-98 season. So he shot 50% and 43%. That's a high percentage, MJ. So when the when the three-point line was shortened, you shot a high percent, right? So when the three-point line was shortened, you shot a high percent, but I thought you didn't focus on it. It wasn't good, but when they moved the line in, you could hit it. But when they moved the line out, you couldn't hit it. Now, your first four years in the league, when you was lighting it up, Ice Mike, and I'm going to call you Ice Mike just for this video because that's what you shot putrid from behind the three-point line was simply ice. The boy was cold. First four years in the league, he didn't even crack 19% shooting from threes. Didn't even crack 19% shooting from threes. Now, let's talk about LeBron James. LeBron James' career, 35%. Now, if you want to get technical, we'll say 34.6. But we rounded for Mike from 32.7 to 33. So we will do the same for LeBron James. Now, let's just think about it. How many seasons did LeBron James shoot below 20% in three points? Zero. How many seasons did MJ shoot below 20% in three points? Five seasons. And I just mentioned his first four years in the Wizard years. I'm talking about not only that, I mean, in his first four years in the Bulls years, but let's talk about the forgotten years that everybody want to forget about. His Wizard years, when he shot 21% and 18%. <laughs> so if you take away, and I didn't do the math, and I should have, and I apologize, but if all y'all want to do it, put it in the comments for me. Subtract the two years with the short free throw line where he shot 50 and 43%. And what do you think? Damn it, I wish I would have did it before I started this video. I'm going to have to come back with a part two for this because, you know, I should do the math right now. But if you take away that 50 and that 43% that he shot those years, that percentage, I guarantee you, going to go from 32.7 probably down to maybe 29 or 30. Because the rest of those seasons were putrid and you add in a 50%, I'm telling you, that's going to give it a big boost. So we talking about three-pointers. So while I'm still on the subject of three-pointers, let's not mention, let's not forget to mention, pardon me, let's not forget to mention that Michael Jordan was in the three-point contest. Now, what he had the three-point contest and he set a record, y'all. He set a record. So the most missed three-pointers in the three-point contest and only five made, which is still to this day. How my boy Deontay say it? Dante? Deontay? Whatever the name was. Y'all yeah. know who I'm talking about. How did he say it? To this day! You understand what I'm saying? And then, so now, if you talk about it from another aspect of the game, and I want to be fair. Michael Jordan did average a lot more steals than LeBron James. I think Michael Jordan averaged two steals a game and LeBron James 0.8 or 0.9, which is like one a game. So he doubled that on the defensive end of the court. But we all know, I won't say it was plumbers he was going against night in and night out, but in the Eastern Conference when you played a lot of one-on-one -on -one basketball because you didn't have a lot of, you know, a lot of double team and a lot of things like that going on uh, within the, the aspect of the rules set when you talk about illegal defenses, but that's something we can talk about for another day. But uh, what you did have was a Michael Jordan who averaged two steals a game, which is outstanding. And that's something LeBron probably will never catch him at is in steals. So top hats off to Michael Jordan for that. Now, when you talk about assist, you're talking about LeBron James who getting you seven and a half assists a game, which Michael Jordan only gets you five assists a game. So you're talking about 10 points for Michael Jordan and assists and LeBron at a minimum of 14 or 15 points. And a lot of those was he kicking out for threes. And so was MJ because he, he kicked out a lot of shots to Curry and Paxson and, and, and B.J. Armstrong, you understand, and, and Craig Hodges, you understand. So... And I would say Ron Harper, but Ron Harper was more of a defensive player. Uh, he was a great point guard. But at the same time, Ron Harper, speaking of Ron Harper, but Ron Harper, you know, when John ja Morant, if you haven't watched that video yet, go back and watch the one I was talking about referring to John ja Morant. But 
Ron Harper came out and said, we had three guys ready to knock you on your every time you drove to the rim. He said uh, he he's, he don't have – he's now he's talking about John Morant now. He said he has no mid-range like a Starks or Isaiah Thomas. Mark Price could beat you from the perimeter. Ja Kent, he doesn't have a skill set that translates to that era. Now, this is the part that killed me. You know, I'm from the old school, you know, but all the old timers, every time you start bringing up something when they refer to basketball, you're talking about somebody knocking you on your ass. Like, that doesn't take any kind of uh, skill set. So, but I thought the Pistons was the bad boy. So y'all was knocking people on their ass too, huh? So y'all got it both ways. Okay, I, I'm just trying to make sure. And you talking about Mark Price could beat you from the perimeter. Now, I'm not taking nothing away from Mark Price. Mark Price was hooping. Mark Price was hooping. I'm not one of these people. I'm not a naysayer and knock errors. You understand what I'm saying? Mark Price could hoop in today era. Mark Price had handles. Mark Price could shoot. You understand what I'm saying? The way the floor is spread right now, you know, he maybe have to build a little bit of stamina because of the range he would have to cover as far as chasing people around on defense and whatnot instead of it being a slow down game because you have a lot more possessions per game and things like that. But you got to understand, y'all got to stop saying, you know, John Morant couldn't, didn't have a skill set because if he can hit threes, please believe he can set it down to a mid-range. So if y'all saying Jordan could adapt to threes, John Morant could adapt to mid-range. Stop it. Stop it, Ron Harper. Please just stop it. But uh, also, last and certainly not least, what I did want to say is when you talk about the most missed field goals, uh, like when you go look at season per season, who had the most missed field goals in the league? Who had the most missed field goals? And guess what you're going to see? You're going to see Michael Jordan had eight seasons where he led the NBA with the most misses. You understand? Kobe Bryant, great Kobe Bean Bryant, nine seasons. LeBron James, zero. And I know people say he doesn't take a lot of shots. He passed first. Which one is it? When he say he passed first, you say he scored. score. Like, make up your mind. If you're going to hate, figure out how you're going to hate. Stop trying to invent new ways to hate and not even knowing how to hate when you hate. You understand? And speaking of haters, I just want to say right on to the real and much love to these haters. I'm out. Peace.